Hi there, it's Marva Riley. 35 degrees today. But I'm outside. I love to exercise outside. I don't have a gym. So I bundle up, get outside, and do my exercise. I'll be 60 years old. 60 years of age, I like to say, actually, in May. And I don't want to grow old, frail, and unhealthy. I want to grow old, older, being able to play with my grandchildren. You see, getting healthy and staying healthy is not just for me. It's for me and my family. I don't want to grow older pushing a wheelchair, a walker, cane, and uh, any assistive devices. I want to be independent. So today, I'm doing some weights. Work the flabs. Yeah. Work the flabs on the back of the arms. Uh-huh. Those are curls. Uh-huh. And push that. Up. Now you don't have to use heavy weights. You don't even have to use weights from what I gather to do these exercises. You can use your weight, what they call calisthenic. Uh huh. So get in shape, not just for you but for your family. My brother is in the hospital right now and has been waiting in the emergency room for over two days to get a bed. They have no bed available. So the best thing we can do for ourselves really is to make sure that we do our best to be in tip top shape so that we don't have to go to these hospitals. They have no beds. And it's getting worse every day where people are so out of shape and unhealthy that they have mental health issues, breathing issues, heart issues, digestive issues, kidney issues, joint issues, body pain, autoimmune disorders, cancer, to name a few from poor lifestyle. It's never too late, my friends, to start taking care of yourself and reverse any of those health conditions that you might have. And if you don't have any health conditions, if you're in good shape, to remain that way. And one way to do that is to do regular, moderate exercise, like walking, 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 do some weights for strength training, you don't have to join the gym. You can go to the park. You can do it in your house. There's so many YouTube videos with fitness instructors giving information for free. And you can, if you have a backyard, you can do that. You can go to the park. Wherever it is safe to exercise, you can go and you can walk. And you can do some squats and you can do some jump ropes. And you can get started. If five minutes is all you can do, do five minutes then increase to 10, then increase to 15, etc. But walking, as Hippocrates said, is man's best medicine. Walking will help with your depression and anxiety and help you to sleep better. Walking will help you to regulate your blood pressure and your heart rate and make your heart muscles stronger. Walking will help you with respiratory issues as you breathe fresh air and as you get into better shape you'll be better able to breathe easier and reverse some of the uh, respiratory issues that are related a lot of times related to uh, overweight and obesity walking with help will will help you with digestive issues 
like gastric reflux, which often is related to bad eating and overweight. Uh, walking will help you to uh, with uh, constipation issues to prevent constipation or reverse it if it's there. Walking will help you to lose the weight and keep it off for good. If you have joint pain, walking will definitely help you with that. So overall, walking is man's best medicine and it is free. And you can do that all year round. In fact, the other day it was so cold inside and I saw my hubby walking up and down, up and down in the house. Even that you can do, especially if you have stairs. You can walk up and down, up and down, up and down the stairs. You don't have stairs, walk around the house, walk around the house uh, as, uh, uh, for 15 minutes. And you can do that two, three times for the day. In the office, get up from the desk and walk around. Walking is indeed man's best medicine. So today, I encourage you to get up and move, exercise, get in shape, get fit, reverse those health issues. I read that overweight and obesity is a second cause of premature, premature death in the United States. So my friends, I encourage you to include regular exercise and healthy eating so that you can lose the weight and keep it off for good.